Alright hey guys, here we are. Drummer links here. I'm trying to think of where I like to go. Was it here? When we played this. I haven't been to this course in a while. Yeah, this seems right. So you can see more or less what I'm trying to do here. Um, we'll try to predict this ball guide uh, offset a little bit. I'm thinking something along the lines of this. You can see that I'm just trying to jack the side spin up a bit. You can see I'm keeping the ball guide short. Um, this is a very tricky wind angle, so that's my biggest concern here. So I'm thinking it's almost eight rings in this situation. Perfect ball. And let's just see how it plays out. So, so far, so good. Ugh, it's going to come in just too much to the left. You can see that the ring adjustment looked pretty good, right at about one per. Um, I don't have a problem with that. It looks like it did land just a touch to the left. So it is kind of, what's ended up happening is it's kind of probably under pulling the rings. It's maybe only going seven rings technically, but what's happening is it's overshooting. So since I'm going eight rings, I'm basically over adjusting rings and then it's landing long since I over adjusted rings, it's landing to the left because I went too many rings, but then it lands long because I'm pulling up to a higher target. So when it actually ends up shooting down, it ends up over launching. So if you can kind of change your wind directional angle and pull just, you know, this might, you, you might want to just kind of tweak that ball guide off, uh, you know, the way that you have that, um, wind angle you might just want to change the direction up just a little bit more you know more back towards the tee box and then pull the eight rings that way so for instance um, unfortunately i'm on the green but if i was to pull you know down at this if i was to make the wind angle look basically offset and then pull back you know, my rings over here, as opposed to, you know, straight up and down, um, that's going to kind of alleviate that problem. So if I can kind of just offset the wind needle to make it look like this, to where I'm pulling straight down this way, what that's going to do is it's going to make me pull more towards the tee box. And then once I pull more towards the tee box, um, I'm going to kind of change that rotation and it's going to pull, it's going to keep the ball from landing long because I'm pulling direct, I'm pulling at a direction that's different. So it's going to kind of alleviate both of those problems to where I could still end up pulling closer to that eight rings, but then it'll land more towards the right because I'm not rotating as much towards the left with my ring pull. So I'm pulling more down. And taking out the, that dir left directional component and pulling more towards the down, which it would uh, basically alleviate that problem. So pull angle is going to be clutched there. If you can just find that perfect balance, um, you're going to be able to go that one per and then, you know, just figure out that ball guide offset, how much, uh, you know, make sure that you're just kind of keeping it short. It is going to stretch out that. Um, you know, that ball guide's going to stretch out and it's going to make it to the hole each and every time. So you'll just have to, you know, find that right balance. So good luck and I'll see you guys on the next one.